This right here is Spidosaur uh, by Dino Girl, and uh, my Open3D has made a small kit of this for some of the events that we're doing locally. And uh, one thing that we've gotten back from some of our customers is that this is a bit of a tricky build. Now, it is meant as a puzzle, so, you know, if you want to have that challenge of putting it together yourself, please back away from this video right now. Otherwise, what we're going to do is talk you through it. This pile of parts to this finished model I highly recommend that you start out first by sorting the pieces. So basically what it, the piles that I've made here are the center leg connectors, the long legs and the short legs right here. Then we have a M-shaped looking little piece with, the, I guess, mandibles. Uh, then we have the fangs and the eye stalks with the little W or uh, E or shape guy. Uh, the center of the spider, uh, a head plate, and then all of the abdomen pieces. We're going to put together uh, one of the sub-assemblies first. This is, I guess, the mandibles and a back of the head piece. Uh, you slide this guy in just like that, as far as it will go, all the way to the edge, and then you slide this guy in the same way as far as it will go all the way back. Now we're going to take this part right here and put it to the side. Uh, that goes on this little shape like this, and uh, you want to put it on the two outside notches. So one goes in as far as it will, and the other goes far as it will. Now do note that right in the center you still have one gap right there. So this guy's done, and we'll put it to the side with the other piece that we've assembled. Now we're going to take the frame of the spider and this manable section, and right here on this line right here, and in this line right here, slide them together as far as they will go, because sometimes they get a little grumpy, but uh, there you go, it's all the way in there. Next we're going to take this, I guess, faceplate piece and slide it into the front of the spider, right like that. All you do is take the center uh, frame again, and then you get this mandible and, or I'm sorry, the uh, fang and eye stock piece. Uh, and this is a little tricky, but basically what you're doing is you're sliding it right down into the center and having the eyes pop up through these two holes right here. So you got your eyes, you got your fangs. You've got the notch and a notch, and you just kind of put it right together and push it in as far as it will go. Now, you might need to use an extra tool or something to push it in the last little bit, but what you want to see is you want to see these eyes right here start to pop up. Once they're fully popped up, then you know you've got it set. So now you've got your eyes popped up, and you got your fangs sticking out. Part where all the legs attach, and now we're going to attach this. Before we attach the legs, we're going to attach it to the main torso here. Uh, there's a slot on the bottom here, and this big slot right here. You press it together so that it's like that, and slide it back. this abdomen uh, pieces from largest to smallest. Now why did we do that? Because it's very tricky to figure out which ones go where on this back part of the spider. But by making them in this stack, we now kind of know what order they should kind of be. So first off, let's take the smallest one and put it all the way at the back. The second smallest one, also no holes, put it at the second of the back. there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start somewhere right in the middle here and take the largest one. So largest one right in the middle. And now we're going to go back and forth kind of from, we'll flip it over so small, large, we're going to put the large ones on top. 
And now we're going to go back and forth, moving our way from large to small. And it's not super important which one's which, but as long as you get the middle, the, the largest ones in the middle and the uh, smallest ones towards the end, everything should line up. I'll just go back and forth here until I've got all of those slots filled with the abdomen parts. And if it feels like one doesn't want to go in, try a different sized one. Although you see that I went from large to small working from the center out and they're all pretty much fitting in and looking decent. I got one that's sticking out a little bit, so what I'm going to actually do is uh, use a pen and a small hammer. And I'm going to get it to tap in by using just a little force from the hammer. And now you'll see that you've got your abdomen. Oh, I could probably push that one in a little bit more. I will here in a moment. Uh, but that basically makes a nice arc of abdomen pieces from largest to smallest, largest to smallest. We're almost done. All we now have to do is attach the legs to the spider. Um, the key to this is that the small legs, the four small legs go in the front and the uh, four long legs go in the back. So no uh, rhyme or reason or worry of which leg goes where, uh, just that the four short ones go in the front. You do want to be a little careful because these guys uh, can break on you surprisingly easily. Luckily this is made out of wood, so if one does break, all you need to do is use a little Elmer's glue or wood glue and get them put back together. Those are the four front legs, the short ones. Now we're going to do the four back legs, the long ones. And they're only mildly finicky, but they do go in. And ta-da! Now there's one thing you're going to notice. Some of the legs, they're not all the way down, so all you're going to do now is kind of give it a little bit of a flex and bend things so that everything's touching the ground. And there you go. There's your little mini spider.